Hello everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I'll be sharing with you a set of cards that I made for this year's Christmas. Th these cards I'll be sending out to my friends. I've also made a gift card holder and a matching envelope and I'll walk you through the process of, of the entire project. I started off by stamping some panels that I've die-cut from Nina Solar White. I've used my Misty and a gingham background stamp from Simon Says. I had some issues with my Misty, as you can see here, I didn't get a good impression. And while I was trying to figure out why uh, that was happening, I've decided to uh, put it in the mat that comes with the Misty and just give it another try. And this time uh, it worked out. I think the problem was because I was using my Misty with the rubber stamps and with the mat from the beginning. And that's something that you should not do and I think that somehow the the door from the Misty kind of bent a bit and uh, that's why I wasn't able to get uh, the impression that I've wanted I've used some W plus 9 inks and a green from Simon Says I will have all the links to the supplies I've used below and also on my blog Next I grabbed a stamp set from Winnie & Walter, this is called Comfort & Joy and I've embossed in gold this cute reindeer onto a strip of vellum. I've used the Simon Says Clear Ink and the Simon Says Gold uh, Ultra Fine Embossing Powder for embossing my reindeers. I really love the color of this embossing ink, of this embossing powder, sorry. And also it is very detailed if you have like smaller images or sentiments, it works perfectly. So once my powder was set, I've used a scalloped die from Tonic Studios. I have this gorgeous set from Tonic with all these uh, dies. And I've also cut some smaller circles using another set from Tonic. I will have that uh, placed behind the vellum circle that I've uh, die cut previously. These both sets are from Tonic as I said. Next I used a memory box branch die and cut out a bunch of these uh, branches. I love this die, I don't have any other branch dies. I was searching for the perfect branch die while I was shopping um, at Simon and I've picked this one out and I'm happy that I went with this one because it's absolutely gorgeous, it uh, seems like it's real. I've used the Willow dye ink from Simon to color in all my branches. You can use your color sprays or paints or just die cut them from some uh, green cardstock. I just didn't have any in the shade that I wanted. And because I wanted to add a bit of sparkle, I've used uh, my Shimmer Spritz uh, spray and just uh, gave these uh, branches a couple of sprays. I love this spray. I think it adds the perfect sparkle, it's not as uh, obvious as glitter, it's not too much uh, at all, it's just perfect, it's the perfect sparkle for uh, Christmas cards. I've used this uh, uh, vellum adhesive to adhere the vellum on top of those uh, cardstock circles that I've taken previously. This adhesive is uh, specific for vellum, it's very soft and uh, it's not aggressive as other adhesives may be. I wanted to add a bit of dimension so I've uh, placed a strip of double sided adhesive foam on the back of each of my circles. I have four circles here but in the end I've used only three, I made only three cards but I'm sure that I'll be making much more because I really like how these came out. For my sentiment I've used a stamp set from W plus 9 and just stamped the Be Merry with this old gold uh, dye ink from W plus 9. I've used this little B die set and used a banner die to cut all those sentiments out. I also have the dies from that uh, W plus 9 Be Merry stamp set, but uh, the banner was just too short and I've picked this one from Little B that also makes some folding lines at the end of the banners that makes uh, much more easier 
folding these banners in the perfect shape. I've trimmed those panels at uh, that I stamped at the beginning in two inch uh, strips and I've put some double sided adhesive tape on the back and just place them on top of my uh, card base. I've used Nina Craft cardstock for all my card bases. I had a bit of uh, extra paper there that I just trimmed out with my scissors. I placed the, the circle on top and I glued some of those branches all together. I've used like six uh, branches for each card and just grouped them in uh, sets of three. I really like how all these branches look together. They look so so real or at least to me. I'm really really happy with this uh, with this die. So I've just put a bit of a multimedia mat uh, at the bottom of each branch and just tuck them behind those um, circles. For my banner I've used some tiny strips of adhesive tape only on the flaps and once I've decided where I wanted my banner to be I just removed the backing paper and adhere the banner straight onto my card. I didn't put any adhesive in the middle of the banner so that it kind of gives a bit of dimension. For my next step I found this cork uh, paper in my stash that has adhesive on the back and I've picked this uh, bow die from the little bee set I just uh, trimmed four of these bows and I don't know if it's because my core paper it's old I have it for like uh, four years sometimes it frays into my big shot so if you want to avoid that you can adhere your core paper onto a piece of cardstock and just uh, die cut it like this you won't have the adhesive on the back anymore, but um, you can use your liquid glue. I've added a red gem onto my bow and um, embellished my card with this uh, gold nouveau glitter drops. I love the sparkle from the nouveau and uh, I think it's one of my favorite products from the last uh, couple of weeks. also added a bit of more shimmer with my spectrum noir pen and colored some of those uh, red squares and brushed it also on top of my sentiment I wanted to also create a gift card holder and I've used this die from Simon Says this is a great die to have it is a bit expensive but um, it's great for any occasion and for all year round. I wanted to match this gift card holder with my cards, so I've stamped the same gingham pattern on top of my gift card holder. I just masked the other flaps with some uh, sticky notes. And this die makes also the folding lines, so the assembling process is very, very easy. I've just put adhesive on uh, those flaps and closed my gift card, gift card holder in. I decided to add that reindeer on this gift card holder also and I've stamped one more time with the Simon Says clear ink and did uh, some more gold embossing. I love how the embossing powder stands on top of this gingham pattern. I think it's uh, the perfect match for Christmas cards. And I wanted to add a bit more of that sparkle and I've sprayed that shimmer spray on top of my gift card hole. I have a video on my Instagram where uh, the sparkle shows much more better than in this video if you want to check that out. And to finish this off I just tied some Mayard's twine and a bell, a jingle bell on top of my um, gift card holder and tied everything in a bow.
I've picked a craft envelope and this set from Pink Paisley that works great for decorating envelopes and I've stamped the Kindly Delivered 2 with the same red ink from W plus 9 and for spelling the name I've used the two sets, alphabet sets from Concord and Knight and because I wanted to have the name centered um, below that uh, Kindly Delivered 2 I just stamped the, the whole name of the person onto a transparency and uh, I've used a uh, stamp positioner to have that straight and once I've centered the sentiment I just remove that transparency and start stamping uh, the whole name once again if you want to try this out you make sure you want to make sure that you don't remove the first letter that you use just use different uh, separate blocks acrylic blocks for stamping the other letters I could not uh, stop adding these reindeer uh, all over the, the projects today so I've added onto my envelope also and did some more of that gold embossing I did some more stamping and I've stamped the happy mail uh, at the corner there and also this uh, tiny arrow I've used another stamp set from Concord and Ninth this one a smaller stamp set to spell out the surname I think this is a great stamp set for writing names on envelopes and also addresses and here is my finished project this is the red card with the red gift card holder all ready I still have to assemble the other two that I've prepared here is the blue one and uh, here is the green one I don't know which one I, I like most I was trying to be careful and not to smear that uh, Nuvo drops that I had onto my cart I hope I gave you some inspiration I thank you all so much for watching and I'll be seeing you soon Bye-bye.